Hello friends, Mephisto here and hope all of you were just as excited as I am seeing this announcement coming out live inside the game. Also available on the official Facebook page, link in the description down below. Now take a pen, mark it down on your calendar as we are officially launching the global server on October the 14th. That's right, the moment a lot of us have been waiting for, Monster Quest 7 Sins, also known as Aura Star, is finally coming to global. So first thing I want to mention is that the current NA server was actually a closed beta test server. The publisher may or may not have announced this previously, as normally speaking, top up is not a thing for closed beta tests. Hence, I can imagine coming out with a compensation plan that is both fair and rewarding for a current player was a huge challenge. So I'm going to go through this in a chronological order. With the little updates today before locking inside the game, you can no longer create a new account on the current server. The company timed this update very nicely with the announcement making the current server a official closed beta otherwise you know i would consider this a open beta uh, between now and september 3rd you can still top up inside the game perhaps you are a few gems away from sr or keating all the top ups will be received in double when the global opens so instead of the regular one dollar for 60 gems you will be compensated at 120 gems now i will assume that this does not take into the account some of the 120 bonus gems that came with some of the bundle package um, that you have purchased in the past however in my opinion the double should be any bonuses out there please note that all top up functions will be disabled inside the game on september 3rd so essentially you have a two-week window to make any additional investments now according to plan b between august 27 and september 29 you will have the opportunity to experience a free month of play now that is fairly vague so i'm going to let you guys be a bit creative here and speculate on what that might look like personally i would assume some of the weekly paid top up events will now be free so perhaps having access to some of the additional skins or um, having access to new yappies as we can already see that yappies like the four beasts bloodless and many more assets are already available inside the game however we will really have to wait to find out what that ultimately looks like finally please know that all of your data character yabbies will be wiped on september 29th so if you're like me who likes to record the final moments of a server make sure you do that before september 29th and if you have created an account using an email, make sure you also create a Ugain Global account and bind that email to the account or vice versa. This will ensure that you do receive all the rewards associated with this announcement. Now, for the free-to-play players out there, I know that Plan C doesn't apply much to you guys, and perhaps you will be much better off keeping the account with everything you have grind for thus far. However, keep in mind that this reset is for all the players, and in my humble opinion, Grinding is just part of the fun for this game. And I think that next time when the global comes around, you will be able to grind much smarter than grinding harder. In terms of what we can expect or speculate for the global server, one thing that I know for sure there will be changes is the UI to the game and perhaps it will look much similar to the current Chinese server that they have available. Stories and event wise, we can expect a more regular update with new chapters being unlocked every single week. Perhaps some of these stories will also be different from what we've experienced in the past. Game balancing is also another common changes that generally happens before and after a beta test. So can expect some stats or combat values to be different from the yappies that we have before as well. These are a few things that come to my mind and super excited to see what the game has in store for us. I do also want to mention that I've been having a lot of fun answering some of the tough questions that you guys throw at me in the comment section. Sometimes I feel like I need a time machine just because they're so far back and at that time I didn't even start recording yet. But I do look at all the comments and hopefully I also respond back to you. With that, let me know what's your thoughts on this compensation plan and what you guys want to see on global in the comments down below if you are new here remember to subscribe to my channel and join in on the discord to stay up to date with the latest events guys tips and strategy for this game i will also be pushing out additional content as we approach the launch date and i'll see you guys shortly on global